Eddie Kadem now in Yaden, where down power lines caused chaos, an explosion at a senior living facility. And Eddie, so many residents are left now looking for a place to sleep tonight. Yeah, that's right, Don. We did just get a little bit of good news within the last 10 minutes uh, that uh, Red Cross is saying that they were helping out. And it looks like those residents are able to go back into that facility uh, tonight, which is good. They were hoping to get on the later end it done by midnight, but there's still crews out here. This has been a long and tiring and messy day. I mean, it's been sprinkling pretty much all day. Right when we went to us on our live shot, though, the rain just started coming down a bit more. Um, we're told that this explosion started because a huge tree to the right of me here, you're going to see it in a second in the package, fell down on a power line. And then four hours later after that happened, a house exploded. This large tree fell down on West Providence Road, causing a chaotic scene in Yaden. Subsequently, the gas line was ruptured and leaked uh, gas into the community. A uh, number of evacuations took place of residents and an assisted care facility uh, with 50 residents. Officials say about four hours later, the gas reached an ignition source and caused this duplex to explode. The gas blew the front of the house off, uh, the sides missing, and did cause a fire. Around the corner, residents at the Grace Court Senior Living Apartments were evacuated. Delaware County provided them shelter down the road at the elementary school while they work to restore power. County Council has authorized me to do whatever it takes to make sure that they're comfortable and uh, bathroom needs, clothing needs, and try to get them back into the facility. Thankfully, no one was hurt because the explosion happened after the homes were evacuated. A lot of us were on alert for this storm. A uh, big tree fell and it hit the one pole that feeds a, a facility and it arced and hit the gas line. It's it's unusual event to say the least, but again, I credit the local fire department and police for evacuating the people. My officials telling me that the threat of the gas has been taken care of now, so residents being allowed to return to their homes, but still the house where the home exploded and the adjacent houses, they're going to be um, dealing with potentially a total loss or um, not being able to return to their home for some time. So uh, some rough stuff from the weather from early this morning and um, obviously these, these conditions making it difficult for these crews to work here tonight, Don. Absolutely. All right, Eddie, thank you.